Hey guys, Paul Synthmania. We got a viewer request tonight. I got an email from Russia that says, um, Hi, Signore Paolo, and greetings from all of your Russian fans. Hi, we're happy to be watching your videos. We love synths and we love to play some old school music. But we got a problem and only you can resolve it. it makes me feel like James Bond. I sent you a video of a famous Russian rock band called Alisa and I can't find a live accordion part of the song via internet because nobody do this. Can you play this part on a synthesizer and show it to us? It will be awesome. Thank you for all of your music. Best wishes from Russian Far East. Well, thank you very much. And then there is um, the link to the YouTube of the song. And I looked it up and uh, really cool song. I really like it. I, I heard of uh, the Alisa band before many times. I know it's big in Russia. <laughs> And um, really cool song. I I don't speak Russian, so I'm sorry I'm gonna butcher the the title, but it's um, something like Trasa je Jevenosta Patch. Sorry, guys. Well, it's basically like root E95, which we have one of those right here where I am. <laughs> but anyway, let's go to the synth uh, with an accordion patch, and I'll I'll show you how I hear it. All right, guys, here we have an accordion sound on uh, Cubase. For me, being Italian, uh, the accordion is my heritage. It's my ethos, it's my raison d'etre. It's my animal spirit. Well, that and um, Bucatini, Ravioli, Tiramisu, and apparently jumping on mushrooms and turtles while collecting coins. But let's go back to the Russian song. All right, I'm gonna play the part from start to finish and then I'll uh, break it down for you. <laughs> All right, just in case um, you wanted to know also the, the chords, I mean, there are several parts of uh, according that are a little bit different in this song, but this is, I think, what you're asking. And the chords are basically B minor, A, D, and then it goes to the F sharp. And then it goes um, again, just changes a little bit. B minor, A, D, and come back to A. So this is the part, and again, it depends on your level of uh, expertise with playing the keys. You can play it simply without uh, embellishments. Uh, embellishment would be something like a chakatura, you know, like, um, like instead of playing, they will play like. A, But basically the notes are And um, again, the embellishment would be something like this sort of embellishments. If you're not familiar with playing the keys, it might be a little bit different to those fast uh, notes attached together, but you can play it simply, just like this. And it's important that you keep the fingering the right way. If not, you're gonna get stuck. So the finger I'm using is this guy here, with, starting with the uh, ring finger here, annular.
All right, I hope this helps you. Good luck playing the song and have fun playing music. That's what matters. And um, have fun playing the vintage stuff, as you call it, or the old stuff. Uh, to me, I looked it up, and this song is from 1997. To me, it seems yesterday. <laughs> it doesn't seem long ago, but it's 22 years ago. So yeah, it's it'd be considered. It's like when I was in the 80s, um, in the early 80s or mid 80s, trying to redo the songs by The Doors or you know Emerson, Lake and Palmer. I thought those were vintage and um, now history repeats itself. So thanks guys for watching, I hope it helps and um, please don't inundate me with uh, requests to, to help with songs because I already get a lot of emails so I'll, I'll help when I can but um, unfortunately I would love to but I can't respond to all unfortunately. So thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video. Трасса Е-95 Заметен, пожалуйста